Hi guys, it's Daniel from Instrument Choice here. Uh, recently we had an email regarding the EC Salt Tester 11 and how to use it. Uh, in the video today I'm going to give a quick coverage of how to initially uh, calibrate the meter so that you can then go about doing your readings. So when you first get the meter, you need to soak it in some isopropyl alcohol for a couple of minutes. You can get that at your local chemist. Uh, so basically what you want to do, you want to remove the cap, put it into your isopropyl alcohol just to allow the sensor tip to be covered. Leave it in there for approximately three to five minutes and once that's done, give it a good shake off. I'm obviously not going to leave it in there for three to five minutes just for the video purpose, but make sure you do do that. Once you've removed it, give it a good shake off so it's relatively dry. Then give it a good stir with distilled water, which is what we've got in this middle beaker. And give it another good shake off. And then what you want to do is you want to calibrate it to a known standard so when you're doing your measurements you know exactly that it is accurate. So the way to do that is you remove the top cap and in under there there's an increase and a decrease button so either of these will adjust your value on the screen. So I've got a 3000 ppm or 3 ppt solution here. So what I want to do is I want to adjust my meter to match that value. So when I put it into that what you'll see is it'll jump pretty much to spot on. If it was out, what I'd do is I'd adjust the reading by pushing the increase or decrease button until the top matches my value. And then what you'll see is it'll flash up with CO after a short period of time, and then it will read 3.00. So now you're ready to start undertaking your measurements. So what I would personally do, replace the cap obviously. Give it a good stir in that distilled water again. And then you can start measuring whether that be in a creek or your bore or bore water sample or in a river for instance. You can do any of those just by dipping the, the sensor head straight into your sample and it'll come up with your reading on the screen. So that's, that's your reading that you use. So if you have any questions about using this meter, please feel free to give us one of, a call, one of us a call on 1300 737 871 or email us at customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. Thank you.